Hey everyone, welcome back to Today in Tech. I'm Julia Beauchamp and I'm here as always with Macworld Senior Writer Michael Simon and Computer World Executive Editor Ken Mingus. We are live on LinkedIn and on YouTube. So as we're chatting, if you guys have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments, in the chat, and we'll be sure to get to your questions. If we don't get to them while we're live, we'll get to them after the fact. So today we are diving into a chip shortage that is affecting everyone from Apple to car makers. So Ken, I'll throw it to you first. Can you tell us a little bit about what this chip shortage is and how we got here? Sure. Thanks, Julia. Um, what's interesting, this is something that I actually spotted that uh, 9to5Mac had been writing about, that Apple has seen some shortages with some of the power management chips and LiDAR chips that are in the iPhone 12. And so that's sort of constrained some sales there. And what's interesting about it is that it's something that really is still pandemic related. Uh, last year, almost a year ago, of course, everything's pandemic related now. But uh, last year, of course, when everybody was sent home, remote work, pandemic, everything, uh, you know, basically business crashed, even, you know, for, for like Apple and car makers and everybody. But then it really bounced back quickly, especially as everybody got home and realized they needed iPads and phones and mobile devices. And so the, the, that, you know, chip issue sort of went away for a while. Now the problem is that uh, at the same time that uh, all the chip makers are now cranking out chips for smartphones as best they can and tablets and mobile devices, car makers are having problems. So it's just sort of an interesting way of looking at supply chain and how everything really is connected. You know, you wouldn't think of uh, uh, chip makers that are making things for, for mobile devices as being the, the same companies that do the same thing for, for cars, but it's, it's become this ongoing issue. And so, you know, the question is, you know, are we going to see this kind of problem continue through the rest of the year? Uh, you know, it's really, well, we'll see. I guess we don't know the answer to that yet, but I thought it was fascinating that, uh, you know, even Apple is now seeing some problems. Yeah, I mean, this is, <laughs> this is real in the weeds stuff. Um, Bloomberg is is on top of this. They're a, you know they they have a, a whole technology news division, and they've been following these chip shortages for about a year. And you know where it reaches us is when you go to buy an iPhone, and uh oh, it's not going to arrive for like two weeks or something. And you know this was compounded by the end of the year when Apple released everything they have. There's a new iPad. There's a new iPhone. There's a new Apple Watch, and all of these all of these devices, it's not just, you know, the A14 chip, it's a bunch of chips inside that chip and around that chip that do things. So specifically here, the problem is with power management chips and with uh, LiDAR chips in the, in the camera. Those aren't things that you would even necessarily know or, or care about, but they're important to the phone. They're important to cars. They're important to everything, everything that, that powers is powered by a battery needs these chips that can handle these um, specifically when, when it comes to power management. So we don't use all of our power at once and our phone dies in like an hour or, or our car dies in a, in a few miles. So, you know, they're important. And when they're not readily available, uh, things get delayed, cost, uh, cons uh, uh, companies lose money, customers get angry and, you know, this cycle continues. Um, it doesn't appear to be getting any better right now because Apple is selling a ridiculous amount of iPhones and because they're the biggest company and because they sell so many phones and because they're so um, influential, they kind of can dictate the terms. So they're in a bit of a better position than, than other companies. But, you know, there's still, if, they're, if the chips aren't there, if the parts aren't there, they're, they're, there's only so much that they can do. Clearly, it didn't affect Apple last quarter. And if it did, my God. Can you imagine what it would have been likely if there were right. any chip shortages? So you know, it's, but, it seems as though they're able to navigate this better than most. I was just going to say to that, you know, to your point there, Michael, it, Apple, it is Apple. And uh, some of the other smartphone makers are actually crowding out automakers. Uh, you know, again, just referencing this, this 9 to 5 Mac piece, uh, General Motors had to mothball three North American plants. And I, I think, uh, you know, the chip shortages could cost automakers $6.1 billion in sales because cars are relying on chips now. You can't get the chips. You can't build the cars. You can't sell them. So it's- I think it was, I think, I think you're, you're missing a death one. I think it's 60. Yeah, I think it's 60, 61. I'm sorry, you're right. You're right. Billion. And, uh, yeah. It's, yeah, you're right. it's even worse than I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. I mean, I mean we're talking know, about- A billion here, a billion there, it adds up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, 
right now smartphones uh, how many more smartphones does apple sell than like a, a ford whatever they make fiesta or something you know i mean cars are big business of course but smartphones are where it's at right now and apple is going to dictate those terms but you know what if apple were to sell a car if we if we want to push in that direction well, i want to go i know that you know, we should because, you know, we want, let's talk about that yeah so if apple was a car maker on top of this let's say let's fast forward 10 years Apple now makes an Apple car, and now Ford is Ford is competing. It will not be an iCar, Ken. There's no more well, no, I. Come on, why not? I had because I was Steve Jobs. Tim Cook hasn't okay. released a product with the word I in it new, and okay. he's not gonna. It's gonna the be Mac the Apple car? car, Apple TV, Apple Watch, Apple, Apple car. Fitness. It's that's what that's what that's Tim Cook's thing, the okay. Apple with the thing. Yeah. Um, and I think it's smart. I think uh, I think the I should stay with Steve Jobs. Let him All have right. it. Um, that's his thing. I'm dating myself now. <laughs> okay. And, you know, Apple there it stays. Yep. Apple so yeah, car. 10 years from now, there's an Apple car. And now all of a sudden Ford and GM are saying, okay, now we got to compete with Apple for phones, for cars, for chips, for sales, for money, for customers, for eyeballs, for, for everything. And, you know, I, I don't know if we're ever going to get to the point where Apple is selling a car like, like Tesla does. I don't, I'm, I'm not convinced that's going to happen, but if I was Ford right now, the CEO of Ford, I certainly would be planning in case that happened. What can we do in the next 10 years to either keep pace or, you know, beat them to the punch, whether that's electric car or self-driving cars or, or navigation systems or technology or phone keys or whatever that is that Apple's going to do, maybe all of that. Um, I think these car makers need to take these rumors seriously particularly now that they're probably five to 10 years out. Do you have any sense, Michael, whether or not, you know, I'm I don't have any long. sense at all, Ken. Yeah. I think, well, I, think, I, think, I, think I think I made that abundantly clear. Pretend you can pretend, but I uh, know. Do you have any insight? Okay. No, never mind. Um, <laughs> no, seriously. I've seen a lot of stories recently about Apple theoretically working with like Kia or maybe another uh, Hyundai, another manufacturer. So if Apple were to do a car and it, it you know, there certainly are a lot of puzzle pieces that are fitting into place now that, that make that, more likely than I would have guessed a year or two ago. Is it the sort of thing where Apple, okay, as you just said, would do like a Tesla, its own car? Or do you think it would do some sort of branding thing where it it's in charge or oversees the development, the materials or whatever of a special, it, so it'd be the Kia Apple or the Hyundai Apple, and it would have some sort of input from Apple that you know other makers wouldn't have. I mean, I can see, I can see both sides of that. Um, I think it was about 10 years ago they did partner with Volkswagen. Um, I don't think it ever actually was made, but it was something called the iBeetle. This was back in the Steve Jobs days. Ken, don't get excited. That. See, yay. Yeah. And what it was, was it was an iPhone interface inside the Volkswagen Beetle. So like you plugged in your iPhone to a, you know, it was a, a 30 pin connector and it was a special app and it, and it kind of came, came to life and you can listen to at the time, Spotify and, then, and whatever you needed to. And, and, it, and it transformed your car into like a big giant iPhone for lack of a better analogy. I don't know if they would do that now. Back then, Apple was a, a lot different a, a, a well, much got, smaller, it's got a lot much more money company. now to do stuff. And do uh, more money, wants. more cachet, <laughs> and way more. Um, uh, uh, they have a, a way bigger brand to protect. If right. they came came out with the yeah. Apple, um, I don't know, the Apple uh, a Honda Insight or Apple uh, 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 Honda, whatever the heck it's called, Hyundai something or Kia something. Yeah, you know they're attaching themselves to a to another brand, and they're not in control of that brand's part of things. And right. so that end of things now, like maybe 10 years ago, I would say, sure, but I don't, I don't see that happening now. On the other hand, you know, all of these reports. Are they really going to set up an entire manufacturing facility just to build an Apple car though? Well, I, just... I mean, here, here's the, here's the thing. Apple doesn't own any manufacturing or if they do, it's very small. They don't have an iPhone plant. They don't have a Mac plan. They partner with Foxconn. They partner with companies around the world to make their stuff and they dictate the terms. What they're looking to do right now is take a portion of a plant and use it for their stuff. And the reason why we keep hearing these things is because um, first of all, car companies aren't used to dealing with this level of secrecy. So, you mm -hmm. know, someone asked Hyundai a question like, oh yeah, we're talking to Apple and psh, yep, sorry, you're, 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 you're out. Like they're going to quickly learn that you can't go because call up the New York Times and say, hey, uh, Apple called us up last week and, and they want to build a, a car plant. 
that, that's not going to happen. But you know, like like you said, you said a few minutes ago that Ford took a couple of plants out of uh, decommission and spun them up again. Right. They're, you know, they're all over the place. These you know dormant or 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 not really used as well, or maybe they're making just a small component. And when they're trying to do, Apple is trying to 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 talk to a a, a car maker who now you know. Cars, cars are a very specific and very difficult thing to build, as as Tesla has shown us. I mean, how long has it taken Tesla to get to this point? And they're still not Ford. You know, it's 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 a it's a way more difficult than building an iPhone. So Apple needs to start this, you know, many many years ahead of time. They need to have a plant going to build components, to to build prototypes, to build you know whatever they're going to do. And yeah, so rather than you know opening a plant which that's not apple's game they 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 kind of glom onto an existing plan and then and then dictate all of the terms to those people so they will team with kande or kia or nissan or bmw whoever, or whatever yeah. it is yeah. and we'll never hear from it again until until the apple car Oof. eventually more, comes out or, or or doesn't you know there, there's a school of thought that all of these apple car all of the Apple Corps research and development, it's just all part of larger things. You know, let's not forget they teamed with HP uh, as a precursor to the iPhone. You know, they explore different areas, different partnerships, different things. And I'm, I'm sorry, the iPod and not the iPhone. They they explored, you know, Apple, they have enough money to explore all these different things. Maybe it's just part of an, I, an, an AI thing, or maybe it's just part of, a, a, a you know, an iPhone thing because, you know, in I'm 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 sorry if I'm completely and totally uh, uh, bogarting this conversation. Go, one more, no, one more, I, one more. I point. have one question for you, but get your point in. Right, go. One point. So, all right, let's say 15 years from now, um, we're not really driving cars anymore, which isn't that's crazy to think about. Perish the thought, please. No, so, I'd like you know, to drive. We, what we do is we walk outside, we 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 punch a number into our phone, uh, a, a, a driverless car shows up. Where you know we get in, we do all the things. We're not driving. We're not steering. There's no driver. It sounds dystopian. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, it, fifteen it also, years. I twenty five years. Whatever. Whatever. Were we going to have flying cars by two thousand? I think your time frame. Flying cars off, are go ter- ahead. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> it always was. They might look cool in movies, but what could go cool. wrong? <laughs> yeah. So you know, right. you show up. I mean, you know, it's 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 like the Uber model, but you know, Uberized, but without the person, without the person, and without the. Um, you know, the, the finite number of, of, of taxis. So, you know, you get in, you go to your place and, 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 and you leave. Now, if in, in that situation, your phone is the thing, your phone is the key. Your phone controls that whole experience. You get in, it knows who you are. It knows what you want to listen to. It knows who your contacts are. It knows. So perhaps Apple is planning for that inevitable time and researching all of this stuff, seeing how it would work. Maybe we'll never see an Apple car uh, you know, on a road with a little As Apple, Apple symbol on the front. Yeah. Distinct. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you. I, I, I actually, uh, I don't think we're going to see an Apple car and I just, I just, it just doesn't, it seems to me to be so far beyond what Apple has been and is. And I think it runs the risk of diluting the company's brand, uh, you know, in a way that I don't think, I, I don't see what the big payoff there is. Um, I do think that a lot of what Apple may be doing now is, as you say, researching other things that may be car related, they may not be. Uh, The question I had when you were talking about how Apple in the past has teamed up with companies, back in the early, early days of digital photography, didn't Apple team up with Kodak? Remember, Apple had its own little the, digital camera. The quick, quick take or something. Whatever was that Kodak that it that it teamed maybe, up with? Or? Maybe I it was. It was that. somebody. It was. It yeah. was like a little Polaroid type situation. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I mean, one. it's it's not it's not um, out of the the history of Apple that they 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 do this. You know, they they work with people. They work with Microsoft back when they were enemies. Yeah. You know, they're they're certainly not not afraid to admit. Listen, there are some things that we don't do well or we can't do well or we don't want to do well and we need help so you know i think that that's a lot of what's going on now i think it makes sense to get in early if they're going to uh to try we're not going to hear about um a a, a partnership and then in six months here's a product it takes a lot of time to develop anything and let let alone a car Mm -hmm. so you know i think we're still five to ten years out if, if 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 at all I don't know if it'll ever make sense. I don't know if there'll ever be a light bulb moment and said, oh, that's why they wanted to partner with Kia back in 2020. I don't know. But right. um, I also, um, I don't think that 
we're we're going to see a car anytime soon and possibly never. My my thinking when you um, mentioned, you know, working with other brands, and I'm glad that we're discussing this because I think it's always sort of interesting to discuss, you know, what's the precedent, especially especially with you know, Apple working with another big, you know, huge international company. I think it's kind of I am kind of wondering what yeah, what the, a brand, the branding around an Apple car would look like, right? It's not like it's like the Rolex watch powered by Apple. And it's like, is it going to be, you know, the Kia Soul powered by Apple? That's, yeah, that's I, kind of what I'm intrigued. Like, what is it? What, what's the Apple car even look like? Yeah. It, it comes would, in one color, white. <laughs> and the iPhone comes in. You're, you're still on Steve Jobs days, Ken. Come on. Hey, why? No, Johnny <laughs> Ive, I think more than Jobs. But yeah, uh, yeah okay, okay fine. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you Ive. Um, like I said, I mean, that, that example sounds ridiculous. And may, maybe, maybe there would be a Kia Soul powered by Apple. I just can't imagine that Apple would relinquish that much of a control. I mean, the, like, how would, how would, what would that look like? How would that work? How would you sell it? How would you brand it? I mean, it's just, Well, that's it, what I don't get. How would you differentiate they, I mean, an they, Apple they have car? They CarPlay. So Apple, Apple is in like every car right now. It's there. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it, you know, most people plug in their iPhone if they have one and that's it. Apple's there. They're they're they take over the navigation system and and the Ford and the Hyundai and everything else branding is gone. But you take that with you. If you get into a if you get into an accident, Apple's not part of that. You know, if 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 your car breaks down, it's, people aren't saying, "Oh, stupid Apple, it's not working." Like there's just there, there's a lot of questions I have. If Apple were to develop uh, like a nav a nav system for a car, like I could see Google doing that. That makes sense to me. I don't I don't think Apple. I would I would say go beyond the nav though. If you think about how telematics are advancing in cars, and especially when you're talking about something like self-driving cars, I could see something, you know, again, depending on insurance and liability issues, where Apple becomes not just the infotainment system, but could offer, you know, a suite of safety uh, safety features that when you plug in your phone take over those features in the car. So you've got Apple, you know, advanced braking or automatic cruise control or, you know, I don't, I don't know what, I don't, the, again, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> well, I'm just blue skying here. I don't what if, know what if I my iPhone runs out of battery life? Do I lose <laughs> the, the automatic braking? <laughs> then I hope you're not on a curve. What if know? I get a phone because call? <laughs> then it, <laughs> your phone, your car stops, or maybe it just jingles with the phone. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, we should probably, Juliet, do we have any questions uh, from, from anybody that uh, may be watching us live? I, we should ask at least. Yeah, I think this is a great time just as a cue. If you have any questions, leave them in the chat on LinkedIn or YouTube. I think there's some general questions around, yeah. is Apple making an electric car? And I think it all kinds of ties into what we're talking about. It's like, what does it look like? I mean, it seems ridiculous that Apple would not go with an electric car now that well, it I would be it would, it would definitely be electric it would be, Agreed. It would be ridiculous to not question. because i mean obviously tesla's all electric cars gm's going to yeah. try and release all electric cars by I mean, one every, a, a shockingly close year like yeah, 20, 2035 20, i mean that's, yeah. that's where the money is they're not stupid they, mm -hmm. you know i don't care what people say about um you know gas and 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 uh fuel consumption and all that stuff the bottom line is everything's moving toward away from gas and that's they're, they're just following the trends that's all it is i don't think you i know. don't think they're going to be releasing a coal-fired car it, it would have to be battery and yeah, i mean gas is fine and electricity isn't and i you know, you know the way, apple's very really big on, on talking about renewables and reusing yeah, yeah. materials and you know so you could see something like that i mean maybe that's the branding you know it's the ultimate green car is the apple whatever but uh I, I just still have a hard time envisioning. It. I'd like to see I'd like to see it happen, but I don't think so. It's it's worth noting that uh, Elon Musk says that I don't know five years ago or so he tried to get Tim Cook on the phone to sell Tesla and he couldn't even get through. <laughs> like well, Tim maybe Cook that maybe that says more about Tesla than Tim Cook. You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure I would it buy. Says, Tesla It says something about money. somebody, but um, yeah. There was a rumor for a while that Apple was was going to buy, or I don't know if it was a rumor as much as it was speculation, but um, that Apple would buy Tesla, just like they would buy Netflix or or Spotify, yeah. and none of those make sense to me. You know, yeah. they the biggest the biggest comparison would be Beats, but you know what Beats is and what Tesla is are completely different. That's things. a heck of a leap. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're you're buying a a, a whole 
a whole, you know, big gigantic company with a rabid fan base and, and, you know, all sorts of problems and all sorts of, of, it's like a, it's a whole thing. I just, I don't see, I don't see Apple buying a, a company like that at all. And I also, you know, I don't think Apple necessarily cares to do that. Like they're going to develop, they're going to research, they're going to, they're going to engineer and they're going to build. And if something comes of it, it will. And if it doesn't, it won't. I mean, there's so many prototypes out there of things that never happened. That's part of Apple's thing. You remember a thousand no's for every yes. They develop and they make a lot of stuff that doesn't work for them. Doesn't yeah, come out, they, doesn't release. They may, Apple may not even know itself whether it's going to build a right. car. You know, right. it's, it's looking at different parts and pieces and, and sees what comes together. And, and I think uh, it's smart. It's smart to, to, to study it. It's smart to have a team that's, that's, that's that's researching and, and and trying to do this stuff because that is where we're going. Well, technology and cars are are you know are are married. You want to go back to your Steve Jobs days? No, no, no. I, well, he yeah. said, "I know." I wanted to circle back to the point about chips, He's, but okay, yeah. Jobs. He said, a, a, "You know, Apple lives at the corner of of a technology and liberal arts. Now it's technology and everything. Yeah. Technology in, in, is in, is is invasive and pervasive. So." to not explore every aspect where that is, our houses, our homes, our jobs, our, our pockets. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Good point. I know. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with you. Like, I think- I what, stole it from Steve Jobs. How could it not be a good point? <laughs> I'm Again, with you. I'm, I'm interested to see like how this, I think I do kind of want to circle back a little bit here to what we were first discussing, which were the chips. Um, and I, I kind of just want to future face a little bit. What is, what's the plan? How is this going to be remedied? Is there any end in sight? Well, I, you know, I don't know that there's any end in sight. A lot of it depends on the pandemic. I mean, the supply chain is there. Both Apple and other manufacturers and car makers were able to get the chips they needed before this year. I, I think the, you know, part of it is out of the control of the companies involved. Uh, I, you know, Apple has certainly made it very clear that it would like to be master of its own fate, develop its own chips, uh, hence the M1 and, you know, the, the, the chips and the phones. And, you know, I, I think it, if it could do more, I think it's, isn't it working on a 5G chip as well, Michael? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, 5G, yeah. They bought yeah. Um, Intel's, like, the scraps of Intel's 5G modem team uh, right. a year and a half ago, maybe. And they said last year, uh, end of last year, that they had started development on their own. Um, yeah. Apple absolutely wants to control the whole stack, but um, right now it's not, it's not feasible. You know, Qualcomm is, is a huge company. Um, they have a partnership with them that, that extends many, many years from now. Um, I mean, listen, I think that a lot of what we read is, I'm not going to say it's um, hyperbole, but you know, it's, it's exaggerated in our terms. Like we see $61 billion. We're like, Whoa, like, I don't know what that means to the worldwide automaker uh, profit margin. It could be, it could, it, it's probably like 10%. So I don't think that this is a, 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 a massive issue that's causing catastrophic declines. I think it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a noticeable problem. Um, this is probably the best time for Apple to face this problem because this is the slowest iPhone part of the year, you know, January through like April probably. So, you know, I think that, I think they'll figure it out. I think that there might be a few days here and there that where, where iPhone orders slip from one to two days to, to three to five days. That's probably the extent of it on our, from what we see. Yeah, makes sense. Great. Well, thank you both so much for calling in and joining me. I think this is a really interesting discussion. I know that there's, we've been like, we've mentioned here and there a little bit about the Apple cars. It's interesting to sort of dive into it, but I'm sure if there's any other news I'm confident that we will be discussing it. We got everyone. we got like 10 years of this, Julia. We could go yeah, exactly. We could Perfect. revisit this every month for 10 years and we'll still be closer <laughs> to an answer. Perfect. So to everyone watching, leave your comments below. Questions, we'll get back to them. We're dealing with some construction here. Apologize, trying to yell over it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment below. We'll get back to you. Hit the bell icon so you're notified every single time we post a new video. Thanks again for